Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to game number three between FXO Tier and Slayer's Arthur. Right off the bat, one probe is leaving the middle line, and Arthur, well, he does not do the same thing, so we will have FXO's Tier cheesing in this game. Right now, Arthur is in the lead 2-0 in a BO5, so if he wins this game, if this cheese does fail, then, well, Tier will be knocked out of the Korean Weekly. And on Ohana, I'm guessing this is going to be a proxy gate. If you actually let this one probe mine one like round of minerals and then send him out, right when you get to this position, you will have 100 minerals and 10 supply, so you can go to the 10 pylon, 10 gateway. It looks like since he didn't do any of the mining on this one probe, he is just going to be doing a 9 pylon and maybe either a 9 gate or a 10 gate. And Slayer's Arthur, in the past two games, he has gone for a 13 gate scout. So he is going to be scouting this really late, if he scouts it at all, because it is placed back here in the corner, so there is a chance the probe just goes and glances right on past it. It is a 1v1 map, so the probe may go around the edge of the natural just to scout for this. It is a 9 gateway, and he's not building another probe, so it is going to be a double 9 gateway. Definitely a little bit all in. Here we go, the 13 gate is coming out from Arthur, and he is going to go scout. Now the question is, does he keep on going over here? It looks like, yes, he is clicking does see the double nine gates, and uh, he went for a 13 gate himself. We'll see. Does he get another gateway? It looks like, yes, the probe is going to build a 14 gate. So it's 13, 14 gate against double nine gate. And Tier, he can't really support double nine gate for that long. Looking at the Kerna Boost energy, you can see that Arthur, he's at 30 energy. Tier, he is at 80 energy. He hasn't used Kerna Boost, so he's going to have really fast Zealots and a lot of them really quickly. However, he can't really keep up the production of Zealots and Probes at the same time. Another pylon going down right here. Really nice job. So one pylon goes down, his gateways don't get unpowered. That definitely key thing to do. But we will have Tier with a Zealot lead right off the bat. And this is always something that is tough to deal with because it is going to take some micro. The good thing for Arthur is he does have the extra worker. So he can lose a few Probes. This probe is going to be working on the pylon. The Zealot is going to come. Another gateway has been placed, and I think this is a small mistake. We do have this Zealot working on that. The probe messing up the AI, actually allowing this Zealot to get the first hit, and this Zealot couldn't hit this one. That was relatively cute, so you see no shields versus shields. But I think this right here, this gateway, should have been a forge, because cannons are pretty good at defending against this. Also, the forge is really good at sneaking a lot of worker kills, or just sneaking a kill on the next by the scouting worker down here. But since he went for that gateway, he can't do a cannon, so we'll see exactly what ends up happening. He has pulled the pros. We do have the Zealot lead in favor of Tier because, well, he went 9-9 versus 13-14. The third, third gate is out, so this should allow Arthur to kind of catch up. We only have two Zealots being produced. Doesn't have the money. There we go. Third Zealot has started production, so if Arthur can hold on for just a little bit, he should have a Zealot lead, but that pylon does go down, supply capping Arthur, and this gateway not producing anything right now, so... Cannons definitely would have been a really nice thing to have because, well, they also do not take supply, but a really nice round on these probes on the Zealots, and it doesn't look like that many of the probes go down. A lot of Zealots have been lost going into this lost step. It looks like Arthur is pulling ahead, but you got to keep in mind how much he is losing from these 10 probes, and oh my god, the second pylon does go down, but how much resources he lose of having those 10 probes just chasing. He is behind on the income, and there we go. Going to be trying to take out this one pylon. Pylon looks like it will go down, but at the cost of one of his own zealots. Two zealots just popped out of the gateways, so if it went down a little bit earlier, that would have been excellent. These probes surround one zealot now don't have the best, but they are going to do a little bit of mineral walking. Get us around all those zealots, but a lot of the probes have fallen down, and it's two zealots versus the probes now. But going over into the workers, six probes versus ten probes. It looks like Tier has come out ahead. That zealot has 2 HP left, and this one has 11 full life zealot is coming down, and Tier with some nice micro on back. The shields have a charge on that deeply injured zealot, and he is just falling back to base, saying, hey, I have done a lot of damage. This probe trying to do a harassment, it looks like, I'm assuming no shield damage, but he is just going to be retreating. Now, we do have a sub next one and a gateway and a gas being built by Tier. Meanwhile, zealots are chasing zealots. And since he went for this third gate, he doesn't really have the money to get a sub next one. Now, he has to produce units. The good thing is, Tyr, he cannot produce actual army units because of this gateway. And this is actually, okay, that's Arthur's probe returning home to keep on mining. But, Arthur, he can't really produce anything right now besides probes. So going into the worker, it is 15 to 10. 
and that is definitely a advantage for Tyr, especially because this gateway is up. This one is coming up, and of course he has his seven X core done. So gonna have Stalkers out and Warp Gates before Arthur, who has just now finished his gas, hasn't started a Cybernetic score yet. Just trying to catch back up on the economy, but it is still down five probes and when you're down five probes and there's not even 20 on the map that is a bad bad situation we do have the seven s core being built now but that is late these two gateways are unpowered the two zealots are going to be returning back home realizing okay i can't do any more damage let's go back home probably kill off these gateways but we do have a probe leaving and he is going along the edge of the map probably so he doesn't get scouted by the watchtower just in case the zealots hide it and this i mean Okay, there is no low ground. I was about to say, he could build a pylon down here and possibly power the gateways. But no, you cannot do that on Ohana. I see that every now and then on Shattered Temple, and it is just hilarious. One of the gateways become powered, and you're like, wait, what just happened? Why there's power? Oh, there's a pylon down there. But the Zealots are going to be working their way on this gate. And a py forward pylon is being placed back here with this one Stalker. The Stalker will be able to do damage to these Zealots. Keep in mind, this one is severely injured right now. Will go down very quickly. The Stalker is going to be trying to take that out. Looks like two more hits, and the Zealot will go down. He makes his way to the high ground. Actually, one more hit now at two HP. This Zealot kind of pushed that one back. I don't know why this one came back. The Stalker is going after it. He wants to get this Zealot. He does get that Zealot kill, but now there are two Zealots coming out. A pylon has been built. There are two Zealots and one Stalker versus three Zealots and a Stalker. There we go. Second Stalker has come out. The advantage does go to Slayer's Arthur, but with these two gateways finishing and that cyber, uh, warp gate research being so close to being completed, this is going to be a very hard hold for Arthur. And now he is trying to get his third Stalker out. These Zealots do get taken out. Arthur has some pretty good micro. It's down to two Zealots and two Stalker. Uh, yeah, two Zealots, two Stalkers as the one does show up. But you can see it's very even right now, at least until the warp gates do come. Second pylon is being built. You can see tier 34 out of 50 supply. He's got plenty of supply. He doesn't need the second pylon for actual s supply. He just wants to ensure these gateways do not become unpowered again. Knowing, okay, I've got this. I got the win. I have the economic advantage. Let's just play it safe. And now that's a lot of stalkers versus just these four. But Slayer's Arthur does have some pretty good micro. Probes have been pulled off the line. And this may be the turning point. Well, not turning point, but the finale of the game. Probe, he was already down by six or seven workers. Now pulling off the probes behind by a lot of workers as Arthur just cannot catch a break in this game, but he has won the first two games, so now the series is 2-1 to one into Tyr's favor. Arthur still just has to win one game to go on into the finals, and Tyr has to win the next two games. And it's all, I think all comes down to this third gate win. Maybe it's because Arthur didn't really know how to react because that was a double nine gate, like... Generally, I guess maybe a 12 gate would be able to hold that relatively easy. And that's why you normally, or that's why you'd scout with a 9 pylon. Like, if you scout with a 9 pylon down here, you will see this happening. You always will. You'll see that happening and you'll be safe. But it does take a little bit away to go down with the 9 probe, go out and scout. So it doesn't happen all the time. This is a very nice warp in by tier with these zealots in the back. So the stalkers cannot kite. Very nice job, actually. So that's dead scenario right there. What else is there to say? If this was a forge and he got a cannon at like the ramp, then he holds this, or he could also cannon rush the Nexus and go for the win there. Even if he just built a cannon like in range and Tyr was forced to pull his probes off to deal with it, he may be losing more money trying to deal with the cannon than actually Arthur is spending. I don't know. Maybe that's a question for Combat X. But uh, I think cannon rushing and a response would have been a great idea, especially because gateway doesn't really pay off because a pylon does fall, then your supply block can't build a zealot when he could have built a cannon. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the game. We will be going on to game number four. The score is 2-1 to one in uh, Arthur's favor.